Okay, so a quick video talking about uh, mass deficit and binding energy. Now, first of all, we're going to think about um, fusion. Okay, fusion of, of smaller atoms into larger atoms. If we start off with a hydrogen, hydrogen is just a positive, uh, just a proton there, one proton on its own, and we think about a helium, which is over here. I've got a hydrogen. Let's, in fact, let's think of about four hydrogens, all separated like this. Okay, we know that these two are going to turn into each other, okay, by fusion. Now, why on earth is energy given out? Well, what happens is this. The mass of, this object, of these four objects over here are 4u. The total mass of those is 4u when they're separated. However, over here, they're not 4u, okay, where u is the unified mass constant. They're round about, and this isn't exact, but they're around about 3.99u. They've lost mass. Now, what they've done is they've lost mass, and this mass has been transferred into energy using the formula E equals mc squared. Okay, now why on earth is that? How is that? Well, here's a simple analogy, okay? Let's imagine that around the outside of each of these protons is some energy. And this energy is just there, it's there to hold it together, that's all. It's there to bind it, to keep each neutron and each proton together in the shape they're supposed to be. Over here, this single helium also has energy around the outside, keeping it together. Now hopefully what you can notice here, the, the surface area gives an indication. The total amount of, of energy here is much greater, much greater than over here. All right, so what happens energy here was this some of this mass is actually energy so some of, the, some of this, this mass was energy which is no longer used here okay and that is called the binding energy the difference between them is the binding energy now moving from here to here we get something called a mass deficit that, and that's pretty obvious pretty self-explanatory it means the mass goes down the amount it goes down is the mass deficit coming this way from this to this, what we get then is the binding energy. And the binding energy is just the opposite. All it tells us is how much energy per nucleon would I have to give each of these so that it was able to hold itself together as a single entity in this way. So it's really a measure of this bit here, of the surface area, I guess, in terms of this model, over here. So how much energy would I have to give? How many red dots would I have to give this so that we have the same number of red dots as over here? Okay, and that's uh, fusion, um, mass, de mass deficit and binding energy.